Today, we're gonna to show you how to set up an Insignia Fire TV. This is the 50 inch Insignia Fire TV, and this one is the F30 version and it has 4K, but this is gonna work for most Insignia Amazon Prime or Amazon Fire TVs. So the first thing you need to do is plug it in, we've already done that, and then we're just going to turn it on. The process to get these things set up is pretty easy, but uh, once you've got it set up, they are great because you're gonna be able to use all kinds of smart apps and everything. So now that we've got the uh, TV on, we're just gonna turn down the uh, picture on the camera so you can see what's going on here. That is a lot of light coming out of that TV. So it takes a minute or so here for it to load up, and then you're gonna have to do a couple things to load up the Fire TV. But in the meantime, I'm gonna tell you why I like these. Now, I haven't had one with the 4K. I've had it with the UHD before, but what's really nice is that all the apps um, in terms of like Amazon work really well. And then you've got this voice remote, so you can use Amazon Alexa voice commands. All right, here, all we're gonna do is uh, choose our language. So I'm going to click okay on that. This center button right here, it's kind of hard to see, but there's this ring around the outside. And when I wanna make a selection, I just press this center button right here. So if you're unfamiliar with these, that's the selection button, this center button inside the ring. Now here, it's got some stuff here that it tells you you need to be aware of. We're just going to, once again, press that center button to select. Okay, continue, and now it's gonna search for networks. So in order for this to work, you need to connect it to a network here. So choose your network, and then you're going to go from there. So I'm gonna make my network selection, and then I will need to enter my password if I don't already have other Amazon devices on here. Sometimes it will auto-populate, but you're usually gonna to have to put in your password. So let's make our selection. Enter your password. To enter the password here, we're just gonna go letter by letter, but basically this uh, ring right here, you're going to press uh, on the right side of the ring to go right, left side to go left, up to go up, down to go down, and then that center is how you make the selection. So you can then, if you need to change uh, between capitals, lowercase, you would go down here. That changes to capitals and lowercase. If you need to get numbers, you click right there, and uh, that's gonna allow you to do that. So all I'm doing is pressing these buttons to navigate, here, this ring, kind of like uh, a game controller, and then I just make the selection by pressing that middle button. So that's how you do that. We entered our password, now it's connecting to our Wi-Fi network. Connection successful. Checking for updates, downloading the latest software. We'll just fast forward through this and let you know when it's done. All right, it took about five minutes for the updates to complete, and now we're ready to get started. So you can choose here between basic and full TV. The difference is you're gonna have just more options and apps already set up, but it really doesn't matter because you can get all of these apps and download them in the future. So whatever choice you make here, um, you can always change that in the future. So we're just gonna select the full experience here so that if you wanna get the most out of this TV that you can. So now I'm just going to click full and it's gonna ask you to sign in with your Amazon account if you don't have one. So go ahead and do that now. So here you're gonna have two options. You can either sign in online to your Amazon account or just scan the QR code, whatever works easiest for you. And that's gonna link your Amazon account. We scan the QR code and now it is registered with our Amazon account. So that means that a lot of those services are going to be linked up here. Now here it'll show you your Amazon account and name. So you just wanna make sure that you've got it in the right spot. And now we're going to click continue or change the account. We're gonna click continue. So I just press this main button right here in the center. Here it allows you to save your Wi-Fi passwords to Amazon. So just make a selection here. We're gonna click no. So one of the things that I like about the Fire TV is that if you already have an existing Fire TV, you can load up all the existing apps that you have from your other Fire TVs that are installed and set up by just clicking the restore and it'll bring all those apps in there and all the other control settings that you have, or you can click skip to customize it. So we're just gonna click restore and make life easy here. Here we just need to choose which TV we're going to replicate. So I believe it is this one. There we go. We're not gonna do Apple TV today. No thanks. It's probably gonna ask me a whole bunch of questions about a whole bunch of different stuff. All right, we're gonna say no thanks to this. 
We're going to say no thanks right now. And we're just going to put stock photography on there and click done. Oh, we're going to put no parental controls for now. Can always change that later. It says welcome to Fire TV. We're going to click got it. Scan for TV channels. No. All right, here you can choose uh, which profile you want to watch uh, TV with. So we will just make that selection. Great, now our Insignia Smart TV and Amazon Fire TV have been set up and we're ready to use this. You can see it's already got Netflix, Prime Video, Freevee, YouTube, Disney Plus, and all kinds of other things loaded up on here. But if you wanna add more, all you have to do is scroll over and you're just gonna click right here, this little button, and that's gonna allow you to add more apps so that you can use this whatever you want or add any of the other streaming channels that you want. So thanks for watching this video on how to set up your Insignia Fire TV. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.